Rachel Slavic has been studying some football this weekend <laughs> as well. A different type. Rachel, you're out at the NFL Hall of Fame experience. Right, and what a good time. You know, if you are a football fan, you love Sundays and fall. First, you actually go to the game, watch it at home, tailgate with all the friends. You get the big grill fired up. But after the game, if you have not had your football fix, head on down to the Minneapolis Convention Center, where the Football Hall of Fame is making its first stop in Minnesota. Go. To be the best, it takes talent and a lot of practice. I put a lot of passion through it. I work all summer on it. I work a lot during the summer. Drills help the youngest football players hone their skills. Um, I want to be like Teddy Bridgewater one day. And for a lucky few, that hard work will pay off. I want to be the best. Leaving a player's career immortalized in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. It's for the hardest workers. For the first time ever, pieces of Canton, Ohio are in Minnesota. The Honor the Heroes Road Tour allows fans to not only see the game's evolution. Well, it's amazing how those guys didn't get permanently hurt. It also celebrates the legends of the gridiron. It's, it's just the history of the game that kind of gets lost when you're watching pro football these days. You forget where it started, where it came from, and how it's evolved. The Vikings don't have a Super Bowl championship, but its players have made their mark on the game. Those long retired. My favorite player was Fran Tarkin, and right when you walk in, you have a big picture of him. And those destined for football immortality. Yeah, it's nice to have the Minnesota ties. It's with this backdrop that the youngest athletes continue to develop their game. My goal is become a well-known football player. Here, the end goal seems possible. Making it to the NFL and making it to the NFL Hall of Fame, that would be my favorite thing of all time. Maybe they too will leave their legacy on the NFL. And I feel like if we're talking about the Football Hall of Fame, you know, we're talking about the great players, but it's also filled with other memorabilia that's just part of the game. I really feel like the game of bags should be in there. When have you been to a tailgate and have not seen the game of bags? I'm just going to put in that lobby right now for the Football Hall of Fame. I hope you're listening. Game of bags next year. Inductee. All right, if you want to see the Football Hall of Fame, it's at the Minneapolis Convention Center from 11 till 6 today. Tickets are $25. Good doubleheader for a lot of people.